Oh, the first time race was on a on a bicycle, on a push bike. I, I got him started it in the yard here at the workshop. He wouldn't have crank a full pedal. So for days and days and days, it were half pedaling around the yard, and I got sick it one day so I thought I'm going to weld the back sprocket. Got his wellies and I duct taped his feet to the pedals. Launched him at the door so the only way he could go was the legs had to go. Nah, the rest's history. Away he went. Tweed Valley is the place to ride a bike in Scotland, for sure. You could spend a week in the Tweed Valley and just in Leithen, basically, with the hills surrounding there within a two, three mile radius and ride for a whole week, every single day, all day, and never touch the same trail twice. Like, it's a disgusting amount of trails. Like, it really is. It's, it's crazy and so, so unique. So many different styles, what, whatever your fancy, whatever your level, there's a trail for you there. In that sense, the older I get and the longer I spend here, the more I realize that the Tweed Valley is probably a great place to stay and train from best place in the world I guess some you know when, when you get nice weather in the summer tricky conditions in the winter I would say it's bang on it's the place to be we are in Gala Shields at the moment at the family business which is Anderson and Wilson engineers and welders earliest memories started here whether it was motorbikes fixing motorbikes riding motorbikes in the car park or learn it in a weld and grind and manufacture bits and bobs so yeah, I've learned a lot of my life skills from here and definitely got the, the work ethic from my dad and, and from being in here and let's take a walk. Let's show, show, let's show you around the crib. Second job, my first job was tea, making tea, and then it was coming to get the bolts, screws, whatever was required for the job in hand. Dad likes memorabilia and anything that's uh, anything that's got a story, it's kind of better than better than a story itself when you've got a little bit of a, a photo to go with it. So this is the kind of memorabilia station, to be honest. This is a, a gathering of loads of old bikes. Yeah, motocross is a massive, massive part of my life. You can't do something from four or five years old till 18 every single weekend and like being having your life absolutely hell bent on just doing that and just drop it and forget about it. Working hard, I would say, very important. Everybody can go fast on a nice sunny day, on a nice sunny track when everything's cool and everything's nice and, you know, everybody's ringing your bell and everything's great, but the weather gets rubbish, it's cold, things start breaking, things is not working right. That's when you, that, that's really when you've got to dig in. You know, that's what, that's when you've got to get the work ethics got to come out and you've got to, yeah, you've got to just get dug in and get, get the job done. Well, I'll be perfectly honest, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to watch it until I knew he was at the bottom of the hill, which I've been like all along. I was, I was doing the last round of the Scottish Motocross Championship because I was on the podium for the, for the Scottish Championship, so, so I was there riding. So I was sitting waiting on the, on the line for the start of the race. And I said, I'm just going to go away and do something else. Give me a shout when he's at the bottom. And a few of my mates was kind of, had told me, oh, Reese is, is, is on the hot seat. 
at the time I was actually hoovering and I had my earphones on with the music blaring and I'm hoovering. It's looking good and I had to go to the start line and I'm sitting on the start line and this almighty roar and cheer got up. And my sister walks in and I could just see her at the door and she just sort of looked at me and she just gave this funny little smile. And everybody came running across to me and he says he's done it, he's won the world, the world championship. And I'm sitting on the line ready to start my third race. Blew me away. Honestly, I just broke down. By the time I got two laps in, the tears were welling up in the bottom of the goggles. It was just magic. Kids club just down the road at Kelso, I've been there a couple of times and there's uh, two parents that are spending a lot of time to be honest just creating something for kids to be able to go to on a Friday afternoon and ride their bike and every time I go down there it's crazy how many kids there are, there's like 30 little kids ranging from like not being able to pedal, just scooting along to full on copying me with everything I do and I'll do a gaff and then a week later the kids tagging me on Instagram and they're doing it so it's super cool to see them follow me so closely and want to copy me and that, that makes me really happy that I'm just being myself and I can be accepted as a good role model to kids. So. I think have, having fun is number one because if, if you're not having fun, it's a it's going to be a chore at the weekend so you've got, you've got to make it fun I'll, you know I, I, it's my absolute pet hate to see parents chasing the kids on and you've got to go faster and shouting and swearing and making their life a misery you've got, things has got to be fun doesn't matter where you're from, if you've got the heart for it and you're smart and you, and you really focus on yourself and you really want it, then it'll be out there for you. So just work hard after that and, and you should make it there. So I'm really hoping that's, that's what kids take from it and, and don't, don't worry about where they're from or what their background is, because it really doesn't matter. You look at the top level in any sport, the, the backgrounds that it takes to get an athlete to, to the top are completely different normally. It's very rarely that somebody has the same story. So it, I guess it goes to show you really anybody can do it if you really want to do it.